Um, hello to you all. We're here at the Instituto Italiano di Cultura uh, in Brussels with the manager, Mr. Professor Dr. Frederica Bindi. Buongiorno a lei. Buongiorno. Hello. Um, I'm asking a first question. Would you like to introduce you? The Italian Cultural Institute is an agency of the Italian government. Its goal, uh, it works with public diplomacy, so its goal is to promote Italy uh, and Italian culture and extensivity in, in Brussels and in Belgium. And uh, in doing so, we do a wide range of activities, which go from uh, having a movie cinema every Monday in our, in our theater, to Italian classes, to debates, uh, expositions, and the size and everything, gastronomy and so on and so forth. Uh, the, the manager of the institute, um, what did you do last year? Well, first of all, I redid this room <laughs> <laughs> to begin with. It was an exposition room, which was a, a rather uh, dark, unused room, and now it's a multi purpose, uh, high patch room where we do anything from exposition to yoga to gastronomy. And, uh, and, and conferences, but uh, besides that, of course, my, uh, while we work on ICs, so that we improved our communication, we inform it made everything informatic from getting the tickets to go come here and so on and so forth. We organized 134 events in one year, uh, 60 different classes, uh, different type of classes uh, from, uh, from basic Italian to offering Italian and in, in law and, uh, and kids activities. And what are your projects for the future? For the project of the future, I think that uh, overall uh, the Italian Institute managed to increase its visibility uh, in, the, in the city. We are certainly very visible uh, among the Italian uh, community, among those that speak Italian. So the next frontier is actually to be as known and in, in that community that still does not speak Italian. So you mean the expats? The expats are your, uh, you, you want to reach them? Well, we, we, already, we already reach a part of the expats, but it's mainly those that already speak Italian or already been in Italy. So the challenge, because this is to promote Italy, the challenge is to be more and more visible and more and more attractive to not only to expats, but also to Belgians, which still are not so, either they still don't speak Italian or they're not so familiar with Italy. So the next frontier is really to reach out to all those which do not have an Italian connection yet. And some activities in English are a first step for them to, uh, to get interest into the Italian culture and then to learn Italian? That's exactly what we're doing. We, uh, so far, the huge majority of our events has been in Italian. Uh, out of 134, I think we did six in English, but uh, we are also with the support of the embassy, we're slowly increasing the, the number of events in English. English is a sort of lingua franca in this country, so you don't offend anybody because, of course, if you do things in French, Flemish get offended. If you do things in Flemish, very few people can follow you, so English is the lingua franca. Uh, some of our activities are bilingual, like the, the movie, mm -hmm. where you have uh, subtitles. So this is, yes, the next uh, steps. And you also have collaborations with other Italian institutions in Brussels? Well, of course, yes. We, we, clo we work uh, hand by hand uh, with the Italian Embassy, to which somehow the Institute belongs, with the Perm Rep. We are also establishing collaboration with NATO. Well, of course, this is something that I really care about, uh, to work all together, because only unity makes the force. Thank you, Madam. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.